On October 29, 2012, a natural disaster that would become known as Superstorm Sandy slammed into the Jersey coast. Long Branch was punished badly, suffering damaged and lost housing, flooding of roadways and buildings, destruction of property, loss of electric power, etc. The boardwalk, the engine that anchors the tourism economy, was devastated. At just over a mile long, the sunbathers and shoppers and visitors that use the boardwalk added vital dollars to our local economy. But now the boardwalk was almost completely gone, as well as the oceanfront service road that provided access to the public, bicyclists, and municipal service vehicles. The earthen bluffs that had provided the natural support for the boardwalk and service road were either completely washed away or else compromised by the pounding of the storm surf. Meetings between city, state, and federal FEMA officials began almost immediately. The goal was to bring back a stronger boardwalk to the beachfront. Using storm-resistant building materials and designs, a wider boardwalk with better lighting, and multiple access stairways and ramps to ensure easy entry for families and persons with mobility challenges would be built. Two pavilions for beach attendants and clothing changing rooms for visitors, and another pavilion to provide snacks and drinks for visitors would be included. The Long Branch engineering staff began work with Leon S. Avakian Engineering and George Harms Construction Companies to finalize the design and construction plans. Much time was spent during the design phase to meet the stringent requirements of FEMA and NJDEP. On June 4, 2015, ground was officially broken with a dedication ceremony attended by Long Branch, FEMA, and other officials to start one of the largest Hurricane Sandy-related reconstruction projects.